Hey everyone, friends, this fantastic Tuesday evening here live from Israel. Going to share over some more words within regards to the daily Dafyomi, the Talmud. Some phenomenal wisdom today. Within regards to Tractate Nazir, we are talking about Daf Nunbet, that is page number 52, 52 inside the Tractate. And we're going to see a, a, a blueprint within regards to the importance of fasting in the Torah and in the Talmud. You know, we have six fasts a year. All of us will know, even probably most of the secular Jews would fast naturally on Yom Kippur. Many more people would fast on Tisha B'Av and there's four other fasts throughout the year which are usually seen as a mandatory fast, which where we gain repentance, we gain atonement. And in today's Talmud, it's going to be related over, the writer is going to say a phrase that his t teeth t turn black because of all the fasting he did, he did. So what's this famous phrase referring to over here? So we know in this tractate, Rabbi Akiva had uh, passed away and Rabbi Shimon, or popularly known as Simon, Rabbi Simon in English, he uh, sort of didn't make a criticism of Rabbi Akiva, but sort of didn't say the most favorable thing within regards to a specific thing. And because of that, he realized that he did something bad. This could be along the lines of Lashan Hara or whatever it might have been. So he took it upon himself for the rest of his life to take upon a lot of fasts, a lot of taniyot where he didn't eat, whether it would be for half of the day or for a full day, or whatever it might have been. It was so severe enough, you know, that what he did, that he actually turned the teeth black. He didn't have the shiny white teeth anymore and it turned black at the end. So why was this? Why was this? So in the Torah, it talks about that there's a concept that uh, if someone does something, a transgression of some shape or form, then obviously the person has got to stop it. That's the first thing. Whatever it might be, nowadays so many different uh, bad things people might be doing. And the first thing obviously to do is stop. That's the first thing and to all expenses. But it's not just good enough to stop at that stage in time. One's got to repent also. It might be in the form of uh, having to take upon fasts upon themselves. Uh, as a way of atonement, like many people do all over the world. Many Jewish people practice that and other religions also do it for other reasons. It could be that the thing that the person transgresses in, whatever it might have been, they should encourage other people to stop those transgressions also. It's not enough that they fix themselves. Then the next level is to fix others also. So if someone's got a bad habit, or it might be, to, for example, to say a lot of Lashon Hara, it could be some people have this problem with. Some people might uh, have uh, an urge to steal different things or it might be to watch bad things it could be or it could be to be rude to other people to trick in business so many different forms where people could be doing bad things it's not enough to stop that's fantastic to stop but at the same time one has to repent and full repentance will come when people encourage other people to stop also at the same time that's the greatest level of uh of atonement within regards to those things. And the Talmud is teaching us this blueprint today within regards to uh, Rabbi Shimon, what he did afterwards, after what he might have fell on with the language he might have spoke or whatever he, he might have said. He fasted, took all, all these fasts upon himself. And interesting thing I once heard from in the old yeshiva, I was in yeshiva to Or Sameach, uh, Robert David Kaplan, David Kaplan actually related over once that, uh, you know, we can choose what we do, our teshuva, we can choose where our suffering comes from. Rabbi Shimon over here, he chose to take fast upon himself as a form of suffering for the bad things he had done. And it's granted, before Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, there's at the start of the year, how much pleasure one is going to get through the start of the year and how much suffering one is going to get through the year also. But the good news is... We could choose where this is suffering and where this pleasure comes from. For example, if someone goes through a torturous morning, gets up early for shacharit, and goes to three minyanim a day, it's difficult. Sometimes people might be sacrificing business, but that could be a form of taking suffering away from another place. Maybe the person would have got a few wisdom teeth needed to take out and had this torture. Maybe other forms of pain would have come. So that's important of, uh, you know, not just fixing ourselves with whatever transgressions we have done, to actually do the full teshuva, to push others, and to fully atone, and to show Hashem that we really repent. Guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. It's Daf Nun Bet in the Masechet Nazir, and uh, guys, be blessed here live from Israel. Enjoy. Bye.